Hello and welcome to Geneva for the WISIS Forum 2019 edition. We celebrate the 10-year anniversary of the event today and I'm very happy to be joined by Pichette durand Caveroj. He is the Minister of the Digital Economy and Society in Thailand. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Charlotte. So to start with, what can you tell us about your strategy as a country to use ICTs to deliver the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals? We have a five-track strategy. Uh, and it started off with the digital infrastructure, mainly for the accessibility and affordability of the people to, to be able to use digital technology, uh, either personally in the household or in a factory. And we are accompl accomplishing that you know, through the broadband network. At the end of this year, we'll be able to finish wiring uh, fiber optics to 75,000 villages throughout Thailand. Number two, we also look into legal infrastructure. We have now all in place the legal infrastructure that would need to be there to pave the way for the better use and secure, such as cybersecurity, data protection, electronic transactions. Number two, we also look into human resource, very important. We need to upskill, reskill our workforce in order to catch up with the digital age. Number three, we look into how we can be more innovative, especially in digital technology. We now have plans and actions into developing digital hubs uh, in Thailand, as well as programs such as smart cities, so that many cities in Thailand will be able to enjoy some kind of smartness for their local context and for their environment. Uh, the other two are also very important, and that is cybersecurity. Uh, with the proper uh, procedure as well as the protection of the national information infrastructure, which is very critical to the survival as well as the well-being of the society. And last but not least, government. We need to make government more efficient through the use of digital technology led by big data, data analytics, data center, cloud services, as well as uh, one-stop service for the benefit of citizen service as well as for uh, corporations for ease of doing business. So these are the five track strategies of Thailand for the past three years. Now you've mentioned digital infrastructure. I cannot uh, not bring out the fact that you are winners this year and first prize winners of the uh, WISIS prizes for digital infrastructure. Can you tell us a bit more about what you have achieved in that field? We, we are very honored uh, uh, about this and we uh, are grateful to this uh, prestigious award. What we have done for the past two years is uh, a program called Village Internet Connectivity. And uh, uh, the past year or two, we have been wiring uh, villages, uh, what, however remote they are, so that they can uh, have availability, accessibility, and affordability of the high-speed internet, the broadband, uh, we have uh, finished uh, in one year 24,700 villages, for example. And uh, as I mentioned, this year we should be able to complete the whole 75,000 villages in throughout Thailand. But more importantly, the better use of internet at the last mile. We have been actively working on getting the local villages to do e-commerce by themselves so that they can sell their local products online to whoever, even to Geneva people. Uh, secondly, we also have digital health uh, in, in several aspects, especially to equip the lo local village health volunteers with technology so that they can serve uh, the, the local uh, villagers uh, better. We also have e-learning, e e e-service, uh, and e uh, smart farmers, smart SMEs. So with this infrastructure, this is, this is the flagship whereby we can do a lot more for the society, but we need the sup digital superhighway for which we will be able to complete it this year. So connectivity, very important, very uh, of important. course, and that's one of the main themes always at WISIS Forum. So I've mentioned in the introduction that uh, we celebrate the 10-year anniversary of the event. So how do you reflect on the progress that has been achieved? Well, first of all, I must congratulate uh, WISIS uh, for uh, stand firm for the past uh, 10 years. And I think situation has changed. I was with WISIS uh, a few times 
uh, but knowing that uh, at this age in time, we are going through the so-called digital transformation age. And I think everybody has to, be, has, has to adjust, uh, including VCs as well. And I, I, I can see the level of adjustments that are going on at the moment, meaning to provide more opportunities for the have-not, to provide uh, better uh, productivity for SMEs, as well as to promote startups. These are something new that we did not see before in the Bucis, uh, event in the past. So I congratulate uh, the Bucis and I think that uh, through collaborations of con member countries, uh, as well as through a lot of uh, best practice sharing and exchanges, we will be able to enter the digital age together uh, with strength and with prosperity and especially with sustainability. Mr. Pichet, Durong Kaviraj, thank you very much. Thank you, Charlotte. Thank you.